energy bills, we're being told, could rise even higher than previously thought. A leading consultancy firm predicts the average household could be paying more than £4,000 a year from January. Let's go live now to our political editor, Andy Bell, standing by in Westminster. Andy, can you take us through these new estimates, please? Yes, Tessa. Uh, the regulator, Ofgem, sets the price cap. That's the maximum that the energy companies are allowed to sell to households in England, Scotland and Wales for the year. Now, currently, that price cap is at £1,971. But we know it's going to go up again in October and in January. And one consultancy has now estimated that in January it will go over £4,200. That is double where it is at the moment. And, in fact, that's even £650 pounds more than the projection done by this company uh, Cornwall Insight just last week so that gives you an insight into just how fragile and volatile the whole situation is now partly this is happening because of a technical change by Ofgem but it's also because of the war in Ukraine and the restriction on gas coming from Russia it's also because of the drought so there's less hydroelectric power in continental Europe and less nuclear power because nuclear power stations need a lot of water to cool them down so all of that means that the people who sell energy to us are trying to buy it in the market, in the wholesale market, at something like four times the usual level. And that cost is going to be passed on. I mean, the figures you're talking about, Andy, are eye-watering, aren't they? We have had some announcements of help for people already, but that was before the prices were expected to go quite this high. I mean, what are the government doing about this? Well, currently, the administration that is in Downing Street under Boris Johnson is saying any big decisions have to wait for the new leader. So, step forward Rishi Sunak, who is trying to become the next Prime Minister, and he has said he will give direct help to people in the way that he said he did when he was Chancellor. He's not saying how much exactly, but he's saying he will pay for it through finding efficiencies across government. This is what Rishi Sunak's had to say today. Well, it, it looks like, in general, the, the increase in bills compared to what we thought before is a, is a few hundred pounds more. Now, it's hard to be precise and because we don't know yet, but what people can see is that's the kind of scale that I did before. I wanted to make sure that the most vulnerable, yes, pensioners and the low-income households that I care most about do get the help that they need. Meanwhile, Liz Truss, his rival, is not ruling out providing direct help, but she is talking much more about helping people through cutting taxes. This is what she's had to say. What I'm talking about is enabling people to keep more money in their own pockets. What I don't believe in is taxing people to the highest level in 70 years and then giving them their own money back. We are conservatives. We believe in low taxes. Now, that last comment from Liz Truss is a reminder that currently, still, they're both appealing to Conservative Party members. Those are the people who will choose the next Prime Minister. But whoever it is that takes over in uh, September will have to have a plan for this ready to go. They certainly will. Andy, thank you.